this tree is coming down right in the middle I don't know if they're cutting it just now they have a rope I'm gonna step back I don't know where they're gonna cut it from but this tree was leaning against the fence and would make it creak and behind the rhododendron there is some other growth that actually uh, broke the fence out of its fence post Might be living its day right now. I don't know. Oh, something's happening. Okay. I don't know if you can see. Finally! There he goes! <laughs> Not yet. There he goes. Nice! Oh, and look how open, how much more open is all this daylight here. Beautiful, thank you. Yeah, they got to go in. Okay. okay. So over in here, you can see the fence is broken. If you look in the corner, because of this growth here, it just pushed it out of its thing. So allegedly they're gonna try to push it back in place. There he goes. I can't believe how open this is going to look. I wonder if they're going to chop all this greenery down. It would be really nice, but uh, I'll just be happy the fence is back together. Notice this at the end of July, and um, the guy who lives in the house over here is like 90 something, and he doesn't, you know, he's got Alzheimer's and that. I feel bad for the guy, but. Fortunately, there's people that check in on him. Like it's missing something. I guess the post is fucked, so we'll have to see about that. I think something's broken in the corner. We're gonna see what the deal is. Put a piece of wood in there for all I care. Oh, maybe they'll get it. Hey, shit. Maybe just the top piece goes in.
I guess that's just how they go together. Yeah, he's saying that's uh, that that post is twisted on the end. I don't know. How okay. It, I don't know how it is, but if you look at it, instead of it being like a square in line with this run of the fence, it's like yeah. this. Okay. So that's not really going in how it okay. should. It's not square. Anyway. All right. So I don't know. Um, everything's off of it though. If someone were to come look at it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Otherwise, if, you know, it was his plan. To get it, but that's, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's the best I can do for you right now. Okay. Is there a piece of wood you could jam in there to kind of hold it, maybe? Um, Just temporarily? So, I guess this is going to be a little more complicated than it's supposed to be. So, I'll have to call the guy that looks in on the old man. I'm going to keep there. cutting up this tree quick. Okay. And then once we're done with that, yeah, no problem. We'll do something for you. Cool. At least get it to where it's kind of staying like that. Yeah. It's not going to be perfect, and it may not stay for who knows how long. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That's yeah, fine. Gonna, yeah, a lot of wood to cut up right now. Yeah, so we'll no take problem. Care of this and we'll, we'll look at this. I appreciate it. All right. Yeah, cool. Cool, man. Thank you. Well, that's the deal. We're going to jam something in there maybe at the end and. Hopefully it'll be together enough and I'll talk to the guy and uh, see if we get the fence fixed. <clears throat> it was my fault, you know. It's probably twisted because of the shit that was growing on it. But I, I just can't believe how open this is. I, I hope they take all this shit down. That would be wonderful. But like you said, they got a, little wood, a lot of wood to cut up. So that's going to be that. Anyway, I'm glad this damn tree is down because that was really worrying me. And uh, we'll see what happens with the fence in the future. Well, here's the aftermath. Yep, that's going to have to be fixed. And uh, it'll be fun trying to get them to uh, fix that for me. Let's take a look on the other side while I can. There's not much to really see. Well, they left the stumps there, but there were two trees here that were removed. And they cleared this path all the way down up to there. Now this thing here, these uh, things you can see, maybe, There's a pink flower there, if it'll focus on it. And that is a Rose of Sharon bush. So I wish they would have cut that down too. Maybe you can see on the fence there, the opening where the fence used to go in right there. So we'll have to see about that, but at least they cleared the main shit. I could have just cleared all this shit and made it look really nice, but the Rose of Sharon, I have one of those that started growing here, and if I get down off this chair, you can look at him, and he's really nice. I love that kind. So this just magically started growing here. Obviously, if it's going to turn into something like uh, what you saw, there's actually a few of them. There's like three of them growing here. It's, uh, if it's going to turn into something like that, I'm eventually going to have to cut it down. But for now, it can stay here and look pretty. And I don't think it'll hurt the tree any. But, uh, yeah, there are definitely three growing here. It's funny how this went like that. It's funny how it just grows one direction and then switches but the lights, I mean, the uh, the plant bends to get the best light. Oh, in fact, there's even buds. The wildlife, ladies and gentlemen, the wildlife. So anyway, that's the deal. Uh, the guy that looks in on this old man, 
I'll call him during the week and let him know that the landscaper was here and cut this down. And man, is there so much openness here. It's just awesome. God, if you would have taken this shit down, it would have been so much better. But anyway, it's great as it is. And uh, hopefully he'll get the fence fixed. And uh, that's it. So like I had said, I saw this at the end of July. And it took a month for the landscaper to get here, so God only knows. But it'll get fixed one day. It's not the end of the world. And that's it. So thanks for watching. Make sure you hit like. Make sure you hit subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.